Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the Tarot Empress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications bell. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at the Tarot Empress.com. Okay, so Sagittarius, what I see from the cards is an indication that there is something that is very dramatic happening in your love life right now. This particular energy is telling me that you didn't have much time to, you know, figure something out. You didn't have much time to say something that you should have said. It feels as if you were taken by surprise and that you didn't have the proper sort of... Um, reaction time to a situation that unfolded in your love life it feels like that it feels like you were taken off guard it feels like you were taken by surprise and when it comes to this situation i feel like things happen so chaotically that it left you feeling a little bit stunned right i definitely pick up that energy the next energy i'm looking at is showing to me that uh, at one point in time it felt as if everything was going to be fine right then I feel like there was an opportunity to talk or there was an opportunity for the truth to come out, but it didn't. So let's clarify these energies. Yeah, I feel like something may have ended between the two of you right so it's definitely a situation that is involving a deep love it's definitely a situation where you were dedicated devoted and potentially wanting to you know see a relationship through with this individual you wanted to have your happily ever after that was what you were hoping for in terms of this individual concerned and i feel like the difficulty that you were dealing with when it comes to this person is that someone was holding back emotion or holding back affection like they weren't being as affectionate or as loving as they could be and that might have taken away the sunshine in the relationship it may have really caused a lot of uh, you know difficulties between the two of you i feel like even though you went through this sort of tumultuous phase you were hoping still for everything to work out for the best but these sort of changes that occurred they were so very you know unexpected because I feel like there was an opportunity for things to turn around but one individual right they reverted back to some of the old tendencies so it feels as if there was progress being made and then something prevented it from going all the way right so I feel like you're sitting with the situation now where you feel as if you can do nothing to change this around. You feel as if your hands are tied. There's something that is uh, standing in your way. There's something that is um, holding you back from having that sort of happiness that you would like to have in respect of the situation. And that is really, you know, making you feel a great sense of sadness, right? Because you feel like you want to do something, but at the same time, you feel as if there's nothing you can do here, right? So let's look at the next energy. I 
I'm seeing a situation that on the surface of it looks as if it was a very beautiful relationship, right? There was a lot of happiness, but there was also a lot of darkness, a lot of restrictions, a lot of limitations. It's like a situation where there were two very different and distinct scenarios playing out, the reality versus the a fantasy okay it feels like uh, someone may have been uh, showing to the world that everything is fine and everything is going in a certain direction but meanwhile on the inside you know when you look deeper you notice that there's cracks in the situation there's difficulties there's challenges and it's an energy that uh, diminishes you it makes you feel a sense of helplessness it makes you feel a sense of uh, emptiness and you can't quite figure out how to uh, navigate the relationship, right? And that's making you feel even more caught up in the situation. I feel like it's hard for you because, you know, you want to deal with this, but then someone is being very protective over their own sense of uh, being, yeah, their own sense of well-being. It feels like someone is trying to protect this toxic vibes or toxic energies, right? And perhaps, you know, this is keeping the two of you from coming together in a loving sort of relationship because one individual feels as if they have all the answers and that they're doing things, you know, in the right way. But when in fact, when I look at these cards, I see something completely different happening here. It feels like there's two different shades that are going on. There's a light shade, there's a dark shade. And one is bringing happiness and joy and the other is bringing darkness and misery. And one individual is trying to protect this darkness, trying to protect whatever this is, right? I'm not saying your love between this individual is something that is comprising of darkness or, you know, this tainted sort of energy. But there's some sort of toxic vibes that one individual is very, very protective over. It could be that they have certain behavioral characteristics or they do certain things in a certain way. It's not necessarily healthy for them. It's not necessarily healthy for you. And I feel like in this situation, you know, what the cards are telling me is that this individual has their entire existence wrapped up around the certain sort of cycle or behavior and it's very very unhealthy because it's preventing the two of you from having you know that romance that you're craving to have i feel like this individual didn't recognize this in the past but because you're becoming aware of it through this tarot card reading you may have you know started to notice that certain things were kind of out of place and you couldn't pinpoint it before so there was definitely a different dimension to how they were acting and behaving I feel like the trick with this individual is that they're going to, uh, you know, uh, appear to be more stable, more well balanced and having everything in order. But I feel like that conflict and that toxic energy is still there because this individual is holding on to something from the past or, you know, unable to let go of something that uh, once was, uh, you know, something of value or importance to them. That's a difficult energy that I'm sensing it, definitely a very difficult energy. The other energy that I'm noticing from these cards is the sign that um, a lot of their ego is tied into this. And they're trying to protect that part of themselves that you're trying to love and care for. They're trying to protect that part of themselves that they've hated for so long. So this is a very unusual sort of reading because it feels as if on the surface of it, this individual is protecting a very diminished sense of well-being that they need to, uh, you know, face. They need to get rid of these uh, fears, these worries, the in these inadequacies. And they've been trying to push it away. They've been trying to... not deal with these emotions in the best way possible. And what I'm picking up from this individual is a very difficult time in doing so because there's something that they're trying to fight. It feels as if, you know, they are on one side of the fence. They're fighting this. You know, the two of you have agreed that they have certain issues or that there are certain issues within the relationship. But um, I feel like they are in the middle of the fence kind of situation where they're trying to fight it off, but at the same time, they get sucked into it, they're getting immersed into it, and a part of them wants to give in to that. And that's, you know, something that uh, they struggle with. They really do struggle with that. 
So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these cards on an extended reading. You can find the link in the description box below. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at thetaraempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.